Hey everybody, LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dedicated Black Wake server. First thing you're going to need to do is download Steam CMD. I'll put this link in the video description to make it easier for everybody. If you already have it downloaded, you don't need to do this step, but go to this website and click the Windows client and hit the download right here. Save it. And then go to wherever you saved it and extract it. And then I like to put it on my desktop or my C drive. But whenever, wherever you have it extracted, you'll see this steamcmd.exe. Just run it. And you're going to type in login space anonymous. Hit enter. Oops, an extra A in there. There we go. And then you're going to want to do an app underscore update 423410. Hit enter. It's going to download the files for you. It's about two and a half gigs. I've already done it, so. Just hit exit once it's done downloading. And then from here you want to go to Steam Apps, Common, Black Wake Dedicated Server. And you're going to see files. You're not going to see as many as I have here because I've already done this. But the most important thing you're going to see right now is the server guide.txt. So you want to open it. This is pretty much step by step of what I'm showing you, except there's a couple things that um, aren't correct in here. So I'm going to show you how to fix it to get it to uh, work properly. So first thing you need to do though is you want to copy this text right here. It says first create a batch file titled server update.bat with the following inside. So you need to copy that text. You're going to want to right click and go new text document. And you're going to name it, you know, whatever they wanted server update. I like to name mine actually server start cuz that's kind of what it's going to eventually do at the end of its life. And you want to make the dot .bat now, you might go up here to view on your folder and go file name extensions. Make sure that is checked. Otherwise, if it's unchecked, see how it doesn't show you the extension. You don't know what it is. And then when you do it here, it doesn't actually change the extension. It just adds it to the name. So if I made it a dot .bat here, it's going to be dot .bat .bat. So basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that's checked. And then you can actually change it right here to make it a bat, which is just, it just makes, makes it easier for you. All right, and then open that, and you're going to want to edit. And I've already pasted the text in there, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. So there's the text they want you to put in there, but part of it's wrong. So you want to delete their, where they're having you install the, this force install directory part. Delete all that. So delete from the plus after anonymous. There you go. So it should look like that. And then keep it open. But you want to go back to the other text document, the serverguide.txt, and then down below that a few more lines, it tells you to put this in the start black wake server batch mode, no graphics. So you want to go ahead and just pop that in there for now. And then hit file save. And so basically what we did, if you would have run it like they have it set up, it installs, it downloads the whole server again and puts it in a different directory. I'm, I'm not really sure why they have it set up that way, but this way you don't have to re-download anything. Everything's going to be in the directory that it's already, it's already saved at. So make sure you go File, Save. And then you just want to run it. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to log back in and it's going to validate all your files. This will also update your server. So um, it does both. It's going to start it and update it. So that's done, and now now it's actually starting the server. But that command we added in makes it makes it do it without showing you any graphics or anything. Um, that's good for a server because most servers don't have video cards, so you don't you don't want to you know you don't want to do that. So basically, check to make sure it's working. Just open your task manager. You should see a black wake server exe, which we do. Now the very first time you run it, what it what it does is it creates the server dot config. It creates admin.txt and it creates server announcements.txt. Now it does take a couple minutes though, so don't get impatient. Just let it just wait it out because um, it, it has to start the server and generate everything. And then it, it'll actually shut itself back down. So just kind of watch for this to, to, to close, to go away. 
Now, since I've already done it, mine won't do that, but that's what that's what you want to watch for. And then once that's done and it's closed, which I'm going to manually shut it down right now, you're going to see these files. So you want to go into the server config and edit it. This is where you make all your settings. So your server name, name it whatever you want. These are the ports that you need open on your firewall or router. You need 25001 and you need 27015. So you want to put those exceptions in your firewall or router. That way people can connect to your server. So you can hide from the uh, server list right here if you want it to not be shown. If you want to make it private, you can put a password in. And you can change the mode here. So right now the default is set to game mode 5, which is team deathmatch 2 versus 2. Now you, it, it tells you right here what each of them are. If you set it to 1, it would be team deathmatch for 16 players. 2 would be team deathmatch for 32, and so on. And the rest of the settings are pretty self-explanatory. So once you have all those tweaked, just hit File, Save. Next thing you want to do is you can add a server announcement if you want. Just go in and edit it. Like I just changed mine to Welcome to the Minecraft Union Black Wake server. You can put in there whatever you want, though, like I said. So just hit File, Save when you're done. The other thing, um, to make yourself an admin. So you want to open the admin.txt. And in... The description here that they give you it, it tells you what you need to do right here so basically whatever you want your username to be and according to their thing it doesn't matter but we're gonna say I'm gonna be logic bomb 82 just like I am on Twitter or twitch and then this number right here is your steam um, ID number and how you get that is you can just open your steam profile and it, it'll be at the end of the address so you just need to copy whatever number that is and then put that in right here in the space and then hit file save and that will make you an admin on the server and then after that you're good to go so once once you see the server shut down and you edit all your files and everything like that all you need to do to start it back up is just run your server update dot bat and it's gonna validate then it's gonna start the server and it won't shut itself down again now because now it has a config file and everything so you're good to go. Um, you can enjoy Black Wake and have a lot of fun on it. Uh, if you like my video and I helped you out, please subscribe to my channel, Minecraft Union on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitch as LogicBomb82. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.